Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Saturday, September 7th. The Boise State Broncos are now 2-0 for the season after a Friday night victory at Albertson Stadium in front of a packed crowd all decked out in blue and orange. Just like last weekend's game against Florida State, the Broncos kept their opponents from scoring in the entire second half, ultimately beating Marshall 14-7. After the game, Coach Harson praised the fans and gave a shout out to the student section, which was screaming the entire game. We've been prepping for this game for a couple of weeks now, teaching all the new freshmen all the new cheers and just getting everyone hyped up for this game and getting hyped up for this season because we really enjoy watching football here and we want to make this the best student section in the country and we're on our way to doing that. Great energy here at home. The Broncos will return to the blue turf next Saturday night to face Portland State with kickoff set for 815. If you want to view a photo gallery and highlights from last night's game, just head to sixonyourside.com. Well, the community stepped up Saturday to help protect a refugee garden hit by thieves twice last month after having fresh produce stolen out of the vegetable gardens behind Hillview United Methodist Church in Boise. Volunteers spent their day installing a fence around the property and freshening up the surrounding area. Oh, it it means so much to us because we live in a culture where it's hard to build community. And this horrible thing that's happened has created community in a positive way. And so when it first happened, none of us could have predicted how it would end up. Now on top of that, labor community members also donated $4,500 and gardening tools. Well, a drug take back event in Caldwell Saturday collected 65 pounds of unused prescription medications. As we've learned through our Finding Hope coverage over the last year and a half, many opioid addictions begin by taking leftover medications that were once prescribed to someone else. Today, the West Valley Medical Center hosted their first annual Crush the Crisis event, encouraging the community to drop off unused and expired medications. Thousands spent their day outside on Saturday at Julia Davis Park, soaking up all things art. The annual summer Art in the Park event is in its 65th year, highlighting the work of more than 200 artists with food trucks and activities for kids. Festivities will continue on Sunday from 10 to 5. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. And Art in the Park on Sunday will be a bit different than it was on Saturday. We have some major changes coming in our weather, and you can see the clouds coming in ahead of a cold front that's moving in our direction. That front will move through overnight, and as it does, we'll see some stronger winds. We'll see the possibility of precipitation, even the potential of thunderstorms, and in some places, winds of up to 45 miles per hour. Hopefully that doesn't happen at Julia Davis Park. But it is a possibility then that cooler air dropping into place, bringing us afternoon highs on Sunday around 25 degrees cooler than they were on Friday. So a big change coming our way and those cooler temperatures staying with us at least for early in the week. 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms for Sunday, primarily in the morning. And then those cooler temperatures staying with us. 67 on Sunday, low 70s at least through Wednesday. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.